Hi, Bexley. My name is Chris Tan. I work with Bexley Recreation and Parks Department. During social distancing, we're working together to create um, online classes to help you stay uh, active, creative, and connected. <clears throat> I hope you enjoy today's class. Uh, this will be 20 minutes of gentle yoga. First, I recommend that you create a little space for your yoga practice. I moved my dining room table and a carpet um, away so that I could create a little yoga studio for us. Um, my normal practice spot is in my kitchen where I have some space and I can put my yoga mat down. Um, another place I practice is behind the living room couch or in my bedroom. You don't need a yoga mat for this practice. You might like to have uh, a blanket to lay on if you're on a wood floor, just so you're more comfortable laying down. And then um, some sort of uh, belt or strap. If you've ever been to a yoga studio, uh, you are familiar with yoga straps. It's okay if you don't have that. Um, you could use a towel or um, a sweatshirt. Okay, so I have a sweatshirt that I'll be showing as well. All right, so we'll start laying on our backs. We'll breathe, we'll move, and we'll relax, okay? So please join me. Lay down with your knees bent and your feet on the ground. This will be a little bit of a quiet class. Uh, we'll just take some time to settle into the shapes and to settle into um, our breath, okay? So laying on your back, knees bent, feet on the floor. Just take a moment to uh, settle down. Just let your body get a little bit heavy. Feel the feeling of uh, the parts of your body that are in contact with the, uh, the floor underneath you. Back of the skull the upper back, middle back perhaps, the hips, <clears throat> and then your feet. And continue scanning your body from the top of your head down to your toes and just notice the way your body feels today. Notice the way your body feels today without any self-criticism. Big inhale through your nose and open your mouth and sigh. Again, inhale through your nose and open your mouth and sigh. Repeat, inhale through your nose, fill up your lungs like you're filling a balloon and open your mouth and sigh, exhale. Okay. Eyes are closed, lips are closed. Press your breath out through your nose. Inhale, one, two, three. Pause. Exhale, one, two, three. Pause. Inhale, one, two, three. Pause. Exhale, one, two, three. Pause. Continue. Inhale, one, two, three. Pause, exhale, one, two, three, pause. Inhale, one, two, three, pause. Exhale, one, two, three, four, pause. Inhale, one, two, three, four, pause. Exhale, one, two, three, four, pause. Last round, inhale, two, three, four, pause. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Big inhale, fill up. And open your mouth and sigh, exhale. Okay, hug your right knee into your chest. And hug your left knee into your chest. Okay, continue. Switching right and left, just hugging right thigh in towards the belly and the left thigh in towards the belly. Okay, if it's not easy for you to catch your shin, 
This is where you could use your towel or your sweatshirt to help you catch hold of that shin in order to pull the leg in towards the belly. Okay. In yoga, we never want to create stress or strain in the body by forcing ourselves into a position that may not be appropriate for us. Right, so if you have to lift your head and neck off the floor to get, catch your leg, I recommend that you stop that and go get a sweatshirt or something to help you. I'll do another video for core exercise. All right, you can put your sweatshirt or your strap aside, hug your right knee into your chest, and we'll just gently pass the knee right and left. So you can do really small moves if that's more appropriate, appropriate for you. We're only looking for um, mobility where the thigh bone meets the pelvis. That's the main, um, the main reason we're doing this. Okay, to just stretch the muscles, the ligaments, the tendons, the fascia, all the connective tissue around that, that hip joint. Just a gentle rocking motion. Okay, hug right knee into the chest, big inhale, and open the mouth and sigh, exhale. Okay, right foot down, left knee into your chest, okay, and gently pass the knee left and right. So again, if it's hard for you to reach your knee, you could put a pillow underneath your head so you're not causing strain on your neck or your upper back. Pass the left, pass to the right, pass the knee to the left hand, and pass the knee to the right hand. Hug the left knee into the belly, and then put the left foot down, okay? Next, we'll take the bottoms of the feet together and the knees wide, and you can rest your arms by your sides, okay? If this is causing any strain for you, you could get some pillows from your couch or from your bed and put pillows underneath your knees. And then I recommend resting in this position for um, about a minute. We'll just do about 30 seconds for the video, but if it feels good to you, you can just pause the video and settle into the shape. And just like we did at the beginning of class, try to do that steady inhale and steady exhale. Bring the knees back together, knees bent, feet on the ground. Moving to the arms and shoulders, bring your hands to touch, take your arms overhead, and then lower your arms down by your sides. <clears throat> Breathe in, reach the arms overhead as much as is appropriate for you, and then exhale, arms by your sides. <clears throat> breathe in, and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in, it's okay to bend your elbows, and breathe out. Last one, breathe in, and breathe out. Okay, more dynamic movement, bridge pose. So knees are bent, feet are on the floor, and scoot your ankles in as close as you can so your ankles are underneath your knee. Arms are by your sides, turn your palms to face down, your arms are gonna help support the weight of your body. Breathe in, and breathe out, press to bridge pose. Breathe in, lower the hips down, and breathe out, bridge pose. Breathe in, and breathe out. 
breathe in and breathe out. Okay, hold five, four, three, two, and one. Lower your hips down, reach your arms out to a T shape, scoot your hips to the right side of your yoga mat, and then lower your knees to the left. So that can be confusing. Again, hips to the right, knees to the left for a gentle spinal twist. Unravel the shape, scoot around so you're comfortable again, and then scoot your hips to the left and lower your knees to the right. Unravel the twist, return knees bent, feet on the ground. You can rest your hands on your belly. Take your feet wider than your hips. If you have a yoga mat, you could put your feet on the edges of your yoga mat. And we'll just gently rock the knees right to left. So to begin, I recommend um, engaging your core a little bit so there's a minimal movement from your shoulders to your hips. We're just looking for the movement to come where the thigh bone meets the pelvis. It might feel good here to do some funny movements with your jaw. Just roll your jaw in circles, right and then left. All right, and then if you're ready, lower your knees as much uh, to the left as you want to, and settle here. To add a shoulder stretch, you could take your arms out to a T shape, but then turn your palm to face up and create 90 degree angles with the elbows and then just soften and relax down. Let your body be heavy like we did at the beginning of class. Big inhale. And open the mouth and sigh, exhale. Again, big inhale through the nose. And open the mouth and sigh, exhale. Okay, unravel the shape. Recreate on the second side, so make yourself comfortable so you feel symmetrical. Feet are wider than your hips, maybe as wide as your yoga mat, and then lower your knees down to the right. You take your arms to a T-shape, and then bend at the elbows. If that's causing any strain or tension in your shoulders, just don't do that. Big inhale, and open the mouth and sigh, exhale. Again, big inhale, and open the mouth and sigh, exhale. All right, gently unravel that, okay? I'm gonna scoot the camera away just a little bit more. All right, and grab your strap or your sweatshirt or your towel. <clears throat> we'll stay knees bent, feet on the ground. Bring your right knee in toward your chest and straighten that right leg up toward the ceiling and just see where it goes when you straighten it. It might be something like that. And then try bending the knee and getting the ankle above the hip. Next, take your yoga strap or your sweatshirt around your foot and straighten the leg. And then gently uh, coax the leg towards, towards your chest. We'll settle here for about 30 seconds. Okay, another option is to straighten this left leg out to add another layer of sensation to the shape. I recommend flexing your feet and stretching your heels away from your hips. Okay, 
Then um, use both hands on your yoga strap or your sweatshirt, and we're gently gonna move the right leg to the left and the right. Just do a really small move. We're not looking for a maximum degree of sensation here. Just looking to stretch the IT band at the outside of that right knee and maybe get into the inner right thigh a little bit. All right, and if it doesn't feel good to you, if you have any you know, sciatica issues, you know, it might not feel good, so you just don't do it, okay? Personalized yoga practice is the best yoga practice. Okay, hug your right knee into your chest, and then knees bent, feet on the ground. We'll do that same thing on the second side. Okay, I'm gonna use my yoga strap so you can see a little better. Left knee comes into the chest, Put the right leg up, leg is straight, just see where it goes, okay? And then bend the knee and try to get ankle above the hip, just noticing range of motion, okay? Take your strap or your sweatshirt around the foot, get the ankle over the hip, just practicing proprioception, knowing where your body is in space, and then um, your choice, pull the left leg in towards the torso. Okay, and we do that without overdoing it, okay? Remember the ankle joint is flexed. And you can straighten this right leg out if that seems like a good idea to you. It's not required and there's no extra points for doing that. As best you can just be in the shape without fidgeting around I know I was just checking the time you know this is not the time to be checking your text messages on your watch or your heart rate and that stuff okay the yoga is to just do one thing at a time and focus on that okay take the strap in your hands maybe you rock a little bit left and right if you find a spot that feels really good you might want to linger there this is a, you know, typically a high degree of sensation stretch in the outer knee, okay? Maybe for some, maybe the foot can go a little further towards the ground, that's fine. But keep the feet flexed and keep stretching the heels away from the hips. Okay, this is gentle yoga, so, you know, just taking, trying to take it easy and just doing nurturing yoga practice. We're not trying to win any medals here, okay? <clears throat> Hug your left knee into the chest, knees bent, feet on the ground. Okay, cross right ankle over to your left thigh. Hug your left thigh in towards your belly. Okay, this may be challenging for some. You may want to just leave your left foot on the ground and create this shape. This is also really plenty of stretch for some people. Okay, if you're not feeling enough sensation here, then you pull the left leg in. If you're having trouble reaching that left thigh, you use your strap, okay, or your sweatshirt. So lots of options and something for everybody, okay? <clears throat> Left foot down, right foot down too. Change sides, left ankle to the right thigh. Create your own version of this shape. Do what's right for your body as it is today. in the shape, receive the benefits of the shape, nowhere to go, nothing to do, okay, just the yoga right now. Eyes are closed, lips are closed, press the breath out through the nose, inhale, one, two, pause, exhale, one, two, pause, inhale, one, two, three, pause, exhale, one, two, three, pause. 
Inhale, one, two, three, pause. Exhale, one, two, three, pause, and we'll release the pose. Okay, like we did before, feet wide, rock your knees left and right. Like we did before, we'll twist. Still the rocking of your knees. Reach your arms out to a T-shape. Scoot your hips to the right and lower your knees to the left. Okay, for some it might feel better to really get up on that, uh, that left hip and stack your hips. And then you'll have a little bit of a deeper spinal twist. Okay, but again, there's no point, special points or uh, special valor for doing a more intense stretch. All right, same thing, second side. Scoot around so you're comfortable. Scoot your hips to the left and lower your knees to the right. So it can just be a smaller twist or you can really roll onto the right hip, stack the left hip on top of the right hip and then enter the twist. Unwind your twist. <clears throat> One last bridge pose. Arms along your sides, press into your feet and lift your hips. Engage your glutes. So we're working uh, hip extension. Hug belly in towards the spine. Stretch your knees forward and lean down into your shoulders. Lower your hips down. Stretch uh, forward and back. So arms overhead, feet away from the hips. Get really long. Try engaging your glutes. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And then our last pose is called Shavasana. Okay, so in yoga, we breathe, move, and relax. The relax relaxation piece is really important. If there's anything in your way, please take a moment to scoot it away. If your feet are cold, you could put some socks on your feet. If you have um, something to put over your eyes, darkness is good for helping with relaxation, okay? We're just gonna stay here for a couple minutes together. I know it might seem silly to watch somebody laying doing nothing on a video, but I, it is really important uh, for our nervous system, okay? So chill out for a couple minutes. my family's coming back in from their bike ride um, so I'm gonna end my video my first ever yoga video um, here at this point thank you for practicing with me namaste